today we're going on a coffee shop quest. So there are newer places that opened and I haven't seen yet and three of them happen to be in Montmartre area. This is where you see this beautiful cathedral called Sacre Coeur and beautiful streets with street artists and just in general a charming area of Paris. Those three places could be a perfect stop on your way sightseeing. The second half are the tried and true and coffee shops that are kind of spread through uh, different central areas and they can serve as a perfect alternative on your journey through the Paris sightseeing. So let's go to the first place. time all the tables were taken and initially I thought that it had food because in general you don't have the lines for like coffee places in Paris mostly for brunch places and it turns out we just probably came at the wrong time when everybody went to coffee so we had a little bit of wait and it's cold outside so this had some impact on the impression I have like mixed feelings Somehow it didn't feel like cozy or inviting, even though the place is quite spacious, which also rare for Paris. But yeah, I'm not sure I will be rushing back, but the coffee was good. And they had this huge cardamom bun that is one of my favorite pastries that was enough to share. So this is the positives. Next. around for more than a year so it's a long overdue and I'm glad that we finally got here. It's super charming, it's got a lot of small things like this miniature of the place itself, some cool decorations and just overall cozy place. Have full breakfast, lunch, but we came too late and so we only got to try the dessert that is the porridge with cucumber and mint so it was super original and really delicious so I definitely would like to try their full menu. Place was small but cozy, coffee was really good and I can't wait to come here again to try the food. If you get there before me, please let me know in the comments how did you like this place and we are off to our next one. This third place is more of a hidden gem, I would say. It's not very well known, but it has a great coffee. It's kind of a mixture of a bar and a coffee shop. It's a coffee shop by day and turns into a bar at night. And unlike a lot of coffee places in Paris, this one doesn't close at 4 p.m. and they also have a delicious avocado toast. So if you're in the look for all day coffee shops, this is your address. Coutume 
is definitely one of the top places on the Parisian coffee market. Not only it's a coffee shop, but it's also a roaster. And this is one of my favorite roasters. They have a big variety of beans you can choose from. A lot of light roast coffees that are not as common in most of the coffee shops here. Also, when you buy beans, you always get a free coffee from them. And then you can complement it with one of the pastries or pick a savory dishes from their menu. It can be a perfect stop for a brunch, breakfast, or just an afternoon cup of coffee with a friend. is located in this charming garden called Jardin du Palais Royal. It's a few steps from the Louvre and unlike the Tuileries garden just next to the Louvre, this one is much more secluded and much less crowded. And the Café Kitsune is located right in the middle of the park. It's just a small place and it's mostly takeaway, but they also have a beautiful terrace and this is kind of the main reason why I like this place so much. And after you had your coffee, you can still stroll around and just enjoy your time. And this is great in all seasons, so definitely check this one. The more coffee shop behind me started Fairly recently, I believe it's been just two years and in this time they opened more than 15 locations. It's a specialty coffee shop that is all over Paris. While you're exploring the city and somewhere in the center, you'll probably find one of the Noir coffee shops. And if you like their coffee, I recommend signing up for their loyalty program. It's totally free, you just put your phone number anytime you come and you collect the points and then you can exchange them for coffee, sweets or even cups. This is gonna be it for our coffee stroll episode. If you want more ideas of the great coffee places that also serve food, check out brunch episode or full coffee guide that is linked in the description. And I'm looking forward to see you for the new discoveries in Paris.